Hello and welcome. My name is Diet, and thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Today, I'm going to be starting a new sketchbook. One day, long ago, I was on the hunt for 100% cotton acid-free archival paper to work on. I wish I had some music. Since I happen to be in the GTA, I stopped by one of the art stores I used to frequent back when I was going to Sheridan. After combing the shelves of sketchbooks, I found this soft cover Strathmore Art Journal. It's from their 500 series, mixed media, acid free, 100% cotton archival quality. It's 64 pages, there are the dimensions right there, and I believe 190 is also sometimes referred to as GSM, uh, grams per square meter. This is what the price is currently advertised. The soft cover is really nice, uh, it feels like silk, um, but it does dent easily, so beware. I'm gonna try and see if I can show you what I mean by that. I don't know if the light is good enough to pick that up. You can see that or not. Let me just try and. Ooh, it's a little dark. Um, if I turn on the light, that help. Oh, yeah, there you go. So you can see it right in here. Focus, um, focus, focus. There we go. So you can kind of see the um, the dents that were left behind. Um, this was just sitting on top of another spiral notebook. It's lovely to the touch, um, but it is uh, somewhat fragile. So yeah, this has been sitting on my shelf for... <laughs> now I'm talking to this camera. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> so this has been sitting on my shelf for... Oh... Um, probably about a year and a half now. Not exactly sure. I have been itching to get into this. When I first started filming my sketches back in 2021, I took the advice to sketch on a random page versus working chronologically. This was fine at first, but as time went on, I just found it really difficult to find specific sketches and it disconnected from the timeline of my thoughts and my memories of when I created those pieces. So. This time I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to work chronologically with this book from front to back and all of my swatches from back to front. The plan is to also include a sketchbook intro page. Excellent for watercolor, gouache, acrylic, graphite, pen and ink, colored pencil, marker, pastel and collage, which is essentially everything. <laughs> um, so we're gonna throw at it whatever we can. I'm looking at this camera, and of course I should be looking at that camera up there as I'm talking, but at least, <laughs> at least the camera, as I'm pointing there, like you can see what I'm, anyways, at least the camera is in frame so you know what I'm staring at it that I'm actually supposed to be. Anyway, that should make you laugh a little bit, at least for today. Here we go, I'm just gonna start working with my swatches. And I wanted to really, I really wanna see what the alcohol markers do with this paper. It's very thick. Um, I should kind of flip through it so you can see it a little bit here. Like you can hear. That's so satisfying. Oh my God, okay. No. How fun is that? That's fun. I'm gonna start swatching from the back and we're gonna take a look at this paper.
on, boo. What are you doing? Either sit here or sit there. Okay. That's not for you to drink.
Yep, I lost my steam. I've attempted to sit and complete this a few times, but it's just not working for me anymore. This is as far as I'm going to work on this for now. Overall, I like where it's at. I wasn't interested in creating photorealism with this piece, however, I do feel like it's unfinished as it stands now, so I may come back to develop it further. The overall goal here was to break in the new sketchbook, which I did so I'm happy. This book is higher quality, so it'll allow me to create the finished pieces and not just rough sketch work. I was very intimidated by the sketchbook, so it helped to ease into it by swatching in the back of the book first. I was drawn to this image, so I wanted to start the book off with this. I have redrawn this image in my brain about five times, but I've not committed it to paper. At least not yet. So it will be interesting to see how this image evolves throughout the year. I'm excited to get my business rolling for 2022, and I'm definitely going to need your help with that. Let me know in the comments if there are any topics or subjects that you would like to see me explore. See you next time, and thanks for watching.